I'm Layla, and you're watching TSTV from Durham College First Robotics Event. Hi, I'm Layla, and I'm here with Dave, the first LEGO director. So, Dave, tell me a little bit about why you decided to get into the, this position. Yeah, well, I started as a teacher, actually, as a coach running a first Lego League team. And then, uh, you know, the passion just grew and it got to the point where I want to be more involved in the coordination of it. So, started doing that and now I'm, uh, I guess, moving up to the big leagues now in first, uh, first robotics. So obviously you have a passion for the STEM industry. How do you think that FIRST instills a passion in the next generation for the STEM industry? Well, you can ask the kids because they'll tell you for sure, but you know, you come to an event like this and you see the passion in the kids, the excitement of, the, of their teams, they're cheering Blue Alliance, Red Alliance, you know, and the excitement there is just, it's just prevalent everywhere and it catches on with everybody. So even if you've got a kid who's maybe just a hanger on, it's still a passion for them because they get involved with the rest of the kids that are already excited and it just brings everybody up to the same level. So how do you guys design your competitions? These competitions can be very, very advanced and everyone here is a high school student. Yeah, so the competitions are designed in the U.S. and they partnered with, uh, well first partnered with uh, Disney actually. And so that's why it looks so good because Disney's good at that, right? Um, but, uh, but yeah, so they design it. The kids obviously, they get a kit of parts. Um, they, they get their registration with the, with the fee. And then they have six weeks to build what you see on the field. So they have to design it once they find out what the challenge is. Six weeks, design, build, and program the robots. And also practice driving because that's part of the skills. So how do you think that the skills they learn here will be transferable into their post-secondary education and in the future to a career? So it's interesting because we're a STEM program, right? So there's obvious STEM skills. You've got science, technology, engineering, math, and the design, the build of the robot. So all of that is obviously there. They're getting a lot of trade skills too. They're learning how to use a drill. They're using, learning how to use a saw. They're also learning how to do things like interact with professionals, right? So a lot of them will have their, their pieces cut, laser cut by another company. So they're interacting with those companies. A lot of what they have to do is reach out to sponsorships. Because the program is expensive to run, they can't afford it just out of their school budget. So they have to actually purposely go out and recruit sponsors for their company, for their organization. They have to create a business plan. They have to work together as a team, right? So it's those collaboration, those soft skills that they're learning. Part of the program too is to make a presentation to judges for the Chairman's Award and for the Dean's List. And so those presentations are also building those kids' skills for presentation skills, communication skills. It's just an all-round great program from STEM all the way through to language and presentation, confidence building, all of those skills. Very exciting, Dave. Obviously, when I did this, there was not as many women here, so I'm very happy as a woman in STEM to see so many girls here. How is FIRST Robotics actively trying to get more young women into this industry and into these events? Well, for one thing, we, we try with our volunteers to try and get a mix of men and women, and we're trying to re actively recruit women so that the kids in the stands see women in those roles. We also, um, from a team perspective, we have grants for teams that want to start up uh, all-girls teams or girl-majority teams. So we have that. We have a girls in STEM council, so we've got a group of girls that are from teams or alumni, along with our own staff and, and senior volunteers, and they have a council which helps to direct our, our initiatives gives us feedback on how we're doing and interestingly enough at the uh, we have two first Lego League provincials East and West now and we took stats this year on how we were doing and it was a 48% in the East and a 47% in the West girl uh, percentage of the participants so we were really excited about that ratio because typically it's about 30-70 as a young woman myself in engineering, I'm like one of like four of us. So I'm very excited to see the next generation of young women come up and see my program get more diverse. So Dave, thank you for all of the work that you've done. You guys put on an amazing competition. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. I'm Layla. And I'm Dave. And you're watching TSTV.